My name is Stan Monroe, and I live in North Syracuse, and I'm a toothpick engineer. I don't know if I chose toothpicks or cho toothpicks chose me. For about 30 years, I've been gluing toothpicks together. Well, lately it's gotten a little out of hand. I just, it was something I've been doing since the fifth grade art class. You know, we were supposed to make something that was uh, six inches tall that could hold the weight of an egg. And mine held my desk. And a girl smiled at me. So I got attention from toothpicks, and that's what I did throughout high school and even into college. I would make my girlfriends with something out of toothpicks that would, you know, eventually come back to me in pieces. So I always uh, had the idea of actually building a city, a whole city, but I never had the uh, time or the patience, and now I have both. After three months of unemployment, I decided to put the two together, my love for architecture and my love for gluing toothpicks together, and make a giant toothpick city from famous landmarks from around the world all to the same 1 to 164 scale. I think it's now 33 different countries represented and eight different religions. So I'm trying to get an all-encompassing view of the architecture of the world through toothpicks. Because I originally uh, was speaking at a school and one of the kids uh, in a classroom asked, why don't you have any churches in your toothpick city? And I said, well, which one should I do to make it fair? And he goes, well, all of them. It, it wouldn't help me to go to the buildings. So you really got to go off of a lot of different photos, uh, schematics, satellite photos. A tower will take about a week, week and a half, whereas a temple will take about a month, month and a half. Uh, the current exhibit, my first one was the Oriental Pearl Tower in Shanghai. Because I figured with the two spheres, I just love the, the building. I figure if I can do that, I can do anything. I have been featured in articles and magazines and newspaper, TV, radio in over 30 countries. And it's been a wild ride. So when you hear, when you get emails from somebody, thank you for making this building, you know, like Angkor Wat is on the Cambodia flag. I mean, they're very proud of this building. So it gives you extra incentive to not cheat. <laughs> I can't, you know, leave something out just because it's too hard. You really have to do it because people are counting on it. My favorite one is the next one. It's always the next one. That's what keeps you going. Well, if it, if it does, if the next one wasn't your favorite, you'd probably lose momentum. But just about when I'm almost finished with the one I'm working on, I get excited to do the next one.